Three, two, one. What's going on, Zach Pack? Welcome back, and if you're new here, a big hello to you. Um, I am back with a new video, and this one, as you can tell by the title, I've got some new collectibles. I wanted to show them to you. Um, please bear in mind that I am on a phone, and I'm obviously not at the best with my edits at the minute. Um, so I'm just wondering how this turns out. I am going to be editing on my phone, so pre-warning if it doesn't turn out how my usual edits turn out and stuff like that. But yes, I am back and these cool collectibles to show you. Now, the majority of them are Disney. There is one Harry Potter one. Um, I'm just going to show you that first um, because obviously I'm a Harry Potter fan, but obviously it's not part of the channel. So we're just going to... Uh, show you this first um, I've got the Nimbus 2000 here um, and it is really nicely detailed it really really is it's very very pretty um, made of plastic um, still still a great piece to have um, and it goes on this wall here hopefully when it's done in future videos you should be able to see it um, but I will be showing you where they will be going on the wall and things and in the um, display cabinet once this video is done. So keep your eyes open for that um, right till the end. Now, oh man, I don't know where to start with this. I think I might start with this one. Um, not, I want to say the least exciting, but they're not because they're all still as good as each other. Um, this here... Um, I have got a Rapunzel doll, um, a Rapunzel Barbie doll, um, came, comes in like a series of Rapunzel, Tiana, all the Disney princesses, uh, uh, Barbie and Disney, uh, uh, Mattel, sorry, did a um, collaboration type thing where they brought out the Disney princesses and this, this one I picked up because Rapunzel is one of my favourites um, by far. Um, and it's just, it is very well detailed, it's very, very pretty, and um, it is one of those ones, the, one of those things where I wouldn't usually pick it up, uh, but I just couldn't say no to this, it's so pretty, and it's, it's nice, and it's easy to store, and it's Rapunzel, and it's, it's nice, and it's, it's very well detailed, um, oh gosh, here we go, there is her face there. Bring it close to the camera. It's very nice. The hair and her dress as well. It's very pretty in detail. She's got little shoes on as well. Do 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 little shoes. But yeah, that is Rapunzel there. Um, the next thing I want to show you guys is this book here. Uh, the Mickey Mouse: The Story of an Icon. Now, yeah, I know it's the wrong way around. I can't do anything about that. Um, but this book is, um, it came out with the, uh, year of Mickey, the yeah, 90th anniversary, and this is just a whole, whole book all about Mickey and where he came from, the struggles and the designs over the years and what he did and what Walt did and all the collectible pieces that are no longer available anymore. And this is a great piece for, I think, for any Disney fan. This is so nice and it's quite quite detailed as well. Um, I can't, I don't know who it's done by. Uh, let's see if there's an author. But there was things in this book that actually I, I didn't know. Um, written by Nicole Corse. Um, edited by Emma Drage and designed by Rob Ward. This, this is beautiful. It really, really is um, absolutely phenomenal. I absolutely love this book. I read it the other night for the first time. And obviously I would be reading it again at some point in case I missed any information on things. Um, but I know where to get my Mickey information from now with this, and oh boy, it is it is such a good a good book. It really really is. Um, so if you can get your hands on that, I highly highly recommend it. Now this thing here, 
we're getting to the really cool stuff now. Two Toy Story things to come. Um, I have this music box. Um, and this is beautiful. This was made by Wood A Full Life. And it is a music box. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can just play a little bit. And obviously, as you can hear, it does play You've Got a Friend in Me. And this, this is beautiful. It really is. Just look at the detail on this. Oh, gosh, here it is. Look at the detail on this. It's absolutely gorgeous. It really is. Got Buzz there and Spaceship. And what seems to be like a bank. So it must be replaying a situation that Andy must have done with his toys. It's absolutely gorgeous. It really, really is. Okay, I'm going to turn that off now. But this is gorgeous. It really, really is. And this is just phenomenal. I absolutely love this piece. I really do. Such a great item for any collector. Um, and yes, I, I, I do like that one a lot. Um... Okay, last one, and this one, this one is absolutely phenomenal. This here is a woody hat, here, um, and it is signed by, if I can get it in the frame, Woody and Jesse from the parks. It is a park official hat, as you can see there, it's got the Disney Parks logo, authentic, original. Um, and this is just absolutely, absolutely beautiful. It really is. And um, you know what? I'd be happy to wear this. I, I would. Absolutely. But I'm not going to. I am not going to wear it. It's going to stay on my collector's wall. And it's going to stay there forever and ever and ever. Because this is just... This is beautiful. It really is. I absolutely love this. I really, really do. Just the fact that I've got the signatures as well. That just makes my day. It really, really does. I absolutely love the fact that I've got the collectibles and these signed items from Woody and Jesse. Um, all of these items are amazing. I absolutely love them. So glad to have them in my collection. Alongside with everything else that you can see right here right here and obviously as a collector nothing is ever completed i have recently signed up for a walt life subscription box so every month there will be a video on that and obviously i won't be opening the box until i open it on camera for you guys maybe once or twice i may do a live version of it where i, I just do a live reaction to it rather than a, a recorded reaction um but I am excited to grow my expand, uh, collectibles even more with more Disney stuff. Um, obviously, I've got this secret Instagram thing that's going on that I'm working on as well. If you follow me on Instagram, um, then you know you will know that I have started to cut things out and starting to gather my sources for this. Uh, but if you don't follow me on Instagram, then I highly recommend it at Zach underscore Thunder underscore Campbell. Um, I will leave it all in the description down below for you so you can go and check it out. Um, but absolutely, I have really enjoyed doing this video. I have enjoyed showing you guys all of these cool things. I'm so glad I've got them in my collection. I really, really. Okay, so here we are. This is where they all stand now. My woody hat is at the top there, right close to the Nimbus 2000. I think that's a good place to have them on the wall. Um, very, very, you know, proud of these. And I'm hoping to have more on this wall as time goes on. Um, as you can see there, Rapunzel is in there, stood next to my shopping cart. And Deadpool and next to Asana from Sona Online. And down here we have the um, 
music box uh, on the bottom of my plates, and a um, Volvic ball, which, you know, I'm a fan of golf. And up here at the top, you have the Mickey Mouse book here, the Mickey Mouse Museum, alongside all the other kind of stuff there, and, you know, here's a sneak peek of uh, all my other stuff. Yes. Um, that's it, guys. That's it. Um, I will leave it all in the description down below for you so you can go and check it out. Um, but, absolutely, I have really enjoyed doing this video. I have enjoyed showing you guys all of these cool things. I'm so glad I've got them in my collection. I really, really am. Um, but that is it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. So, if you enjoy this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below, what is your favourite Disney collectible? Have you got one? And if so, please let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Start a conversation with you. Maybe we can swap. No, I'm joking. We're not swapping. And what's mine is mine, and what's yours is yours. There is no sharing collectibles. I'm too attached to them. Um... Be sure to subscribe if you have not done so already by pressing that big, shiny red button today and joining the infamous Zach Pack. And follow me on my adventure to entertain you the best I can now that I have a full-time job. Seriously, I don't know how people do it, but uh, that's a video for another day. Um, thank you so much for watching, and as always... Stay classy, Zach Pack.